Okay, we talked about this. I don't know why this is. I don't know, it's cut off for some reason. So anyway, we lower the athlete the lower and we bodybuild the upper. Um, our main lifts, again, we train four days a week in the off season. We bench and squat on, on Monday. We trap bar deadlift and do some kind of dumbbell hypertrophy work uh, with rows on uh, Tuesday and we just repeat it. All right, so it's a total body workout four days a week. Um, we live on sets of five and once the kids are ready, we do PR sets. So we get our volume with sets of five. So if, if anyone's familiar with the five through one program, uh, I set the training maxes fairly low and <clears throat> we'll do, for example, on the squat, we do two to three sets of five at the top weight and then a PR set. For the bench press, we do four sets of five at the top weight and a PR set, okay? The reason why I'm gonna tell you why we do sets of five is so the kids can remember it. There's no magic number about that. But if you guys, even personal trainers, right? You tell someone to do a set of 10 and then they start, they pick up the weight and they're like, how many reps? So we just say set of five. And uh, so it's easy coaching. You get a little good strength, a little bit of volume. And then the PR sets is where you can see the kids pushing themselves. They learn how to work. Uh, we had the JV team, the freshman team, attempt the PR sets and the complete attitude of the weight room has completely changed now. They think they're cock of the walk. I think that's what they call that. Is that, I don't know, Marco. Where are you from? Arizona, yeah. New York. Man, you got to keep on, do you have an accent? Is that what I hear? Your accent? From New York? Yeah. Maybe. All right, you from? Chicago, yeah. Pittsburgh. <laughs> I just, I hear something. All right, you've been, he's been around. Marco, dirty bastard. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I got you. Where do you live now? In Pittsburgh. In Pittsburgh, okay. How long were you in New York for? Is that where you grew up? 27 years. In New York City? In New York City. Around that area? Okay. All right. So with the PR sets, you guys know what a PR set is? We just kind of go hog wild, and I coach. I, <clears throat> as soon as the form breaks down, it's, it's off, okay? Uh, and what that does is that tells the kids that just doing more reps or more weight doesn't mean you're getting stronger. It means that you do them right. And that's a huge thing to make, uh, not only for yourself, but for anyone that you train. So just because you did more uh, doesn't mean you're stronger. For example, in powerlifting, Dave always, well, I don't know where he went, but he talks about technique. Technique can add X amount of weight to your lift. Am I right? When you're coaching athletes, you want them to get stronger, but you want them not to do it kind of in a, uh, how do you call it, like a smokescreen fashion. I don't want them to get stronger just because they change something. Now, if it helps them, if it's healthier, then that's a different thing. For example, if a kid, we, you know how we teach the squat, it's shoulder width, toes about 30. If the kids you know, are squatting 300 here and they go out to here, and they can do it with good form, but are they really getting this, the same muscular development as here? And the answer is no. So remember, when you strength train for something other than strength training, it's GPP, right? You guys understand that concept? Yes? yes. You guys hear GPP, right, all the time? Well, it's like sled dragon. I don't know if that's still a thing. But uh, for sports, lifting weights is nothing more than GPP. All right, but it has to be specific enough to carry over to your goal, okay? This does not carry over to any sport. I don't care what anyone says. You just don't get any leg, in, the hip involvements, no leg involvement. Uh, I remember Chuck Vogelpo one time, you know, Lou was telling someone to sit back. He's like, God damn, you gotta sit down at some point. <laughs> so you guys understand that? All right, any questions about the training? It's very simple. Main lift is tracked, programmed, we might do uh, straight leg deadlifts, dumbbell squats, stuff like that. Everything after that's done within the circuit, all right? Cuts down on time, increases the volume, gets them in shape, builds some character. It's pretty easy. Mobility, jump, main lift, assistant conditioning, whoop, we're done. All right, these, here, you can't see this. Our core lifts are the squat, trap bar, bench press. 
assistance in general is a dumbbell squat, dumbbell straight leg deadlift, dumbbell press and rowing, chins, dips, and push-ups, ab wheel. The reason why we chose the ab wheel, uh, it saves space. I really don't want them doing sit-ups. Uh, I would love to have them do hanging leg raises, but how many people can do hanging leg raises perfectly? We'd like to work up to that. Yeah, you can, but you know, in general, it's, it's tough, okay? And the great thing about the special forces, again, is the conditioning and all the assistant stuff, okay? Now I'm free to put in everything and anything. So if I feel like they want to do more dips or they want to do this or uh, kids wanted to swing a sledgehammer, I just put it in there. Okay, as long as we program it correctly and doesn't interfere with something, we can do whatever we want. And that's where you can kind of, because the, the main lifts are effing boring. Okay, we keep the strength, the strength. We don't go crazy on that. We make sure the form is perfect. We make sure the rest times are down. But uh, after that, now I can have fun. Because it, it's boring for me as a coach, just doing the same shit all the time. So it's boring for me, if something that I love, imagine how boring it is for a kid who doesn't give a shit. So that's when we start mixing stuff up. And I'll give you an idea. The, how I came up with that was I had uh, back surgery like two years ago and I couldn't squat or deadlift for a while. So I, I used my weight vest and I started something called the walrus challenge. Okay. Did anyone hear about this on the forum? Okay. The walrus, I came up with the name and then I came up with the acronym later. It was, uh, it's like the fat cousin of the Navy SEAL. Okay. It's the suburban commando. You know, I can mow any lawn. Uh, rake any, you know, just bullshit strength, right? So it stands for like washed up, lethargic, retired, used up sportsman. That's what Walrus stands for. And what the, so I had two challenges. One was you had to do 50 one leg squats each leg. You guys know what a one leg squat is? 50 push ups or 30 or 50 dips and 25 chin ups with an 85 pound vest in 30 minutes. That fucking sucks. How many people wore like a heavy weight vest and tried just doing push-ups and standing up? It's miserable. You can't catch your breath. The other challenge was you take 10% uh, of your body weight, you put it in the vest, and you do uh, 50 total reps with an 88-pound kettlebell of snatches, 50 push-ups or dips, and 25 chin-ups in 30 minutes. Okay. Does it, anyone want to try that? It sucks. But after your body gets conditioned... And so what happens, you know, once I got back to lifting, everything was easy. So now I just learned, well, shit, I can do my push assistance, my pull assistance, and then some hip work and some leg work. Just put the vest on. I could be done in 20 minutes and everything's taken care of. And I get a nice little conditioning thing afterwards. Does that make sense? It became like really easy. So I just squat and then I just put the vest on and go fucking crazy for 20 minutes. And I'm done. Now I've gotten a very a complete whole body workout. That's where the idea came from, from the special forces. Now we don't have the money. Uh, and really I can't imagine trying to maintain 30 weight vests, right? You can imagine the sweat and the gnarliness uh, in a high school weight room. It's horrid. So that's where the idea came about. Uh, if you guys ever want to try something, if you guys have a weight vest at home, give that a shot. It is the fifth. I mean, the, the worst thing about it is, the 51 leg squats with 85 pound weight vest is the easiest thing and that sucks. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's miserable. Uh, and just the breathing alone. But uh, by doing that, everything else became easier. Again, we got a great conditioning thing. Is anyone here pretty much from the cold weather area? Oh, yeah, I, you guys might train in real gyms that have like bikes and stuff. Uh, but if you don't, if you train in a garage like me, this is about the, all the conditioning I can do. And by the time uh, I started running again, when my back started feeling good, no problems at all. Running as well as I have. I beat my 12-year-old my son and we can, I, I always uh, contort the conditioning uh, challenges to my strengths. Then I just like, what are you doing? Old man beats you, you got a bad back? <laughs> of course, he could never beat me because I just, now, if, you know, whatever. I adjust the odds so I win. <laughs> That's the best way to say it. Um, but with the, the main reason we do that is to get the uh, kind of kill two birds with one stone. All right, and that's what the next slide is, is special forces, boop. Quick question. Yep. Uh, on your fourth day with your teams, do you do a variation of those three main movements or do you do any kind of overhead press? Uh, we can overhead press on uh, the deadlift day. I just, 
we just do volume. The reason why that is is because, you know, when you start, you know, I was away from normal coaching, I guess you'd say, for so long. And then you have a kid come in and he literally has nothing but bone on him. For him to go up five or 10 pounds on a press is nearly impossible. So we'll just take the bar, maybe put fives, whatever they can do, and just do like, listen, like I tell them, I said, listen, you gotta get 50 total reps, nothing less than five. Put on whatever weight you guys think you can do. And uh, so if, if we could do the press, that's what happens. So we don't program it like a main lift because they need to get muscle mass, you know? Does that make sense? I love, I think the press is awesome, but the problem is, is <clears throat> it's like the power clean in a way. And a little bit, obviously like the bench press too is, five pounds is such a huge, like you can do, like for example, you can press 200 for three, but 205 you can't get for one. It's similar to the power, power clean, so. But yeah, it's, I leave all that shit wide open because again, I give them the illusion of choice. And uh, we just, as long as the bench press is going fairly well and the uh, squat, especially the squat and the deadlift are going well, so.